One day, you remember your childhood buddy and yearn to see them. So you contact, organize a vacation, and meet them. Imagine you are missing a childhood buddy and have no means of contacting them. Days pass, yet the yearning remains. Then one afternoon your doorbell rings, and there's that friend at the doorstep. This is an unusual event, but it does sometimes happen to us. Consider an even more unlikely scenario. The friend you've been yearning for for days or months arrives at your door one day. And after you were completely taken aback, you questioned them. How did you get here? The explanation is that they have always lived in your area and have never left. This nearly never occurs to most of us, but that doesn't mean it can't happen, and when it does, is it a science fiction, sorcery, miracle, or manifestation? Keep tuning in to learn about the many aspects of manifestation. The fact is that there are only three scenarios with varied levels of manifestation. We simply lack the means to explore all of them. In this physical reality, our default state is to dwell in the first level of manifestation and to be cautious of the advanced stages that we're not able to reach yet. It would be disheartening to hear even a well-known mystic criticize manifestation and the law of attraction and being a skeptic about phenomena that do not fit with our present knowledge. After all, our truth is a default, but being doubtful does not imply abandoning anything that does not fit into our present technical perception of the world around us. As to properly comprehend and appreciate the notion of manifestation, we must proceed gradually. The very first step of manifestation is the one that everyone believes in, it is essentially a linear route to our desires. When you desire something, you create a cognitive strategy for attaining it and pushing through all of the obstacles that come in your way. In the current world, we constantly tell ourselves that if you want something, you have to work extremely hard to get it. It is not an unfamiliar idea to manifest a dream into reality using Newtonian laws of the universe. This is the universe's worldview that has been engraved into our minds for ages, yet it is essential to acknowledge that this perspective of the world has grown out of date. Modern science has gone by this perception of reality. It supports the idea that we are not simply one reality, several realities exist simultaneously. Now is the era of quantum physics, which dismisses the concept of matter and dives deep into the subatomic level of all living things. It demonstrates that everything in our universe has several realities, all of which are based on energies. Many worlds exist in several parallel universes, according to widely accepted theory. What this implies is that several variations of our current life exist simultaneously. We can access such fragments of our reality if we really want to. For instance, when we end a love relationship and begin a new one. We assume that our previous relationship has finished, but there's another reality in which that previous relationship is still happening. That old relationship possessed the entire potential to developing and creating a family. Simply because we choose a different course in one world does not prevent us from accessing the other reality where that relationship still exists. Our interpretation of reality is the tale we repeat ourselves every day and night. Furthermore, the fact that we're not delivering the other story will not really wipe out the chance that it exists. Most people may be thinking at this time that this is simply some spiritual hocus-pocus with no practical application. Yet simply because we can't see something right now doesn't imply it's impossible. A newbie who has never gone to a gym may believe that deadlifting 500 pounds is difficult. Drawing a great landscape is incomprehensible to someone who cannot sketch a tree dancing. Beethoven's symphony is an impossible feat for someone who is just starting out on the piano keys. To someone who just believes in and depends on one potential reality, reaching the advanced degree of manifestation appears to be a lie. Changing your reality with your thoughts may seem difficult, but it does not imply it is not possible. Consider it this way, you are always surrounded by hundreds of thousands of radio frequencies. If you are only listening to a single radio channel, you will only be able to hear that channel, but that does not imply that there is just one channel airing. What this implies is that you are tuned onto a specific frequency. 
In other words, your spirit is being channeled towards one specific frequency, but if you learn to alter and adapt to different frequencies, you may switch between channels whenever you choose. The trick is to release all of our presumptions of what is and is not reality and to begin channeling your energy. Admit that energy is the only thing that exists in the universe because many people are already adept at it. The diligence in your conviction and awareness that the physical self does not matter is the key to properly expanding your inner potential to manifest your objectives. What important is the energy you have within you, as well as your consciousness? The very same force that is shared by the entire universe. Some people may still find it difficult to believe and achieve a job or fulfill a dream. Yet, being in several realities appears to be a pipe dream. If you look carefully, scientific and technological progress has already attained that goal and is bringing us closer to it. Via social sites and virtual avatars, we effectively exist in several realities. We can now manifest different aspects of our personality across various social media sites, and with AI advancements, we may soon be able to generate actual physical various versions of ourselves. The manifestation laws merely indicate that we can exist in many realities, making several dreams come true at once without the need of technology. What technology is demonstrating is that we need to detach ourselves from the concept of our physical self and concentrate a great deal more on the virtual energy and consciousness. That is precisely what manifestation is able to provide without intrusive technology. It is to strengthen our belief in our specific notion and desire to release our physical existence and actually feel it, which occurs with our energy and consciousness. It depends on the force of manifestation that we occasionally find someone searching for someone to hire while we are desperately looking for work. It is our faith in manifestation that allows us to obtain the promotion we desired. The tremendous level of manifestation is what prompted Jesus to change wine into water. It can happen through manifestation that we encounter ourselves in our friend's garden when we are sincerely wanting for them to meet us. The missing connection between our wishes and their reality is manifestation and sincere conviction in the concept, and we may make them a reality by genuine faith and diligent practices of developing our consciousness. Edward Estlin Cummings once said, To be nobody but yourself in a world which is doing its best, night and day, to make you everybody else means to fight the hardest battle which any human being can fight, and never stop fighting. 